Well, uh, I've been away from Flashback Fridays for quite, quite some time now, but uh, I'm back. And uh, this week I'd like to talk about uh, my early career uh, when I first started and a gentleman that I would like to mention right now, uh, who's one of the people that helped move my career as quickly as, he did, as, it, as it went in, in the early days. And his name is Marcel Stellmann. And he was working with uh, Decca. He had an uh, office in Decca, and uh, I got to know him. As this gentleman was quite quite a genius because not only was he a record producer and uh, a lyricist, uh, you know, a writer. He was doing promotion as well for us at that particular time, you know, for my my music. And I went into his office one day. I sat down and and I I thought this man is definitely a genius, you know. I walked into his office, he had a desk, and it was filled with phones, eight phones, eight, ten phones, or whatever it was. I can't imagine, but they all had different colors. Now, the gentleman's name is Marcel Stellman, and he's written some, some very good songs in his life, but I want to talk about him right now because I sat there in awe. You know, I, was, I really did, I sat there in awe, because I'm sure he was promoting uh, my music, as a matter of fact, I want to show you this album because he's got two songs on here. One is called Talking Love and the other one is How Near Is Love, right? Two very nice songs, very romantic songs. And uh, I think that's what Marcel was all about, romance songs. And my early career involved romantic songs. So I guess Gordon Mills, you know, got in touch with him and said, listen, Marcel, I need songs and I need romantic songs. And so he, he gave a couple of songs from my very first album which was a big hit, as if you want to know the truth. The reason I'm talking about Marcel is because we just lost him at the age of 96. You know, and he, he's, uh, he's in heaven now writing for the upstairs. He's writing upstairs. And, uh, but he was a wonderful man. And I got to know him and I got to know his wife, Jean. And, and they're both lovely, lovely people, you know. And, and when I went into his office and I sat down, and I told you I was in awe, and I was amazed because all these colored telephones on the table, he really used them. I mean, this man could speak, I, I don't know, about eight different languages. I mean, fluently, because I saw him and heard him do, do just that. You know, I'm sure he was promoting uh, my, my album and my songs and in all these different parts of Europe, you know. Uh, so if, if one phone would ring, he'd pick it up and he'd speak in German. The other phone would pick it up, he'd, he'd speak to in, in, a, in French, Spanish, you know, Italian. I couldn't believe, I mean, fluently, absolutely fluently. And I couldn't believe that. I, I just want to bring up, bring up his name uh, on this Flashback Friday because I think it's, it's worth knowing somebody of that great talent and uh, that he shared with the world and he's left a, his trademark uh, on earth by doing it, leaving it on some of my, my albums, you know, his work on some of my albums and a lot of other people like, you know, the greats like Charles Aznavour and all these wonderful people that he left his mark with. I, I'm going to be doing this every week now, you know, I'm going to, so I'm going to have a lot of subjects to talk about. I thought I'd mention Marcel this week and pay tribute to that great man. I send my condolences to his lovely wife, Jean, and I hope that, uh, you know, it's hard to talk about that, isn't it? Very hard to talk about that subject about when you go upstairs. Uh, well, I find it hard anyway. but. Um, and next week I'll be talk I'm talking about something else and uh, a little bit easier to talk about, okay? So till then, check out his music, okay? And don't forget, the there's one song which really sticks out in my mind and, and I think it's, been, it's known all over the world and it's called Tulips from Amsterdam. Take a listen. He was very talented and very wonderful man and deserved to be remembered. See you next week. I try to be best I can and try to understand angel on my shoulder the earth beneath my feet I'm a lucky lucky man